You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I am back. Rudrians for our Black and White Sports. Well, we're going to talk about UFC fighter Jeff Molina and UFC fighter Sean Strickland. Now, in case you don't realize what's going on with UFC fighter Jeff Molina, he is currently suspended for a gambling probe. And speaking of probe, he is currently being celebrated, brave, stunning, courageous, because it seems that Jeff Molina has come out to proudly state that he is a member of that good old alphabet community. Yeah, that's right. Tambourine playing and all. He considers himself to be of the bisexual nature. Okay, congratulations, I guess. Now, he didn't just come out. He came out because a video leaked of him giving, well, the oral pleasure to some dude. And, of course, as you can imagine, after he come out, uh, the you know, all the celebrations on now, by the way, People were calling the guy a total and complete scumbag for potentially cheating. Well, enter in UFC fighter Sean Strickland, who has not shied away from controversy in the past, and he's not afraid to speak his mind. We like that around here. We do. He has come out, and he has fired some shots at Jeff Molina, making sure everybody doesn't forget that Jeff Molina is, well, a scumbag, according to Strickland. This is funny as hell. Uh, Sean Strickland, 26 and 5. He's a badass. He is a badass. Let's get to the, this story first, and then we'll get to Strickland. Oh, pissing all over this uh, brave, stunning, and courageous gesture that Jeff Molina uh, tried to go out there and, uh, you know, it, it's only a matter of time. The media is going to start fawning over this dude at any moment. TMZ... Jeff Molina comes out as bisexual after a video leaks. You see my screen. I'm trying to save this for YouTube somehow. UFC fighter Jeff Molina is opening up about his sexuality after a video showing him performing, you know what, on another man. Ooh, was leaked to social media this week, saying he was stripped of the opportunity to announce he was bisexual the way he wanted. All right. The 25-year-old shared an emotional statement to Twitter on Friday saying, quote, not the way I wanted to do this, but the chance to do it when I was ready was taken from me. I've tried to keep my dating life private from social media, Melina continued. I've dated girls my whole life and suppressed feelings that I've had throughout high school, being on the wrestling team throughout college pursuing MMA and even after making part of the dream happen and getting to the UFC the thought of my buddies my teammates and people I look up to looking at me different let alone treating me different for something I can't control was something I couldn't fathom now Sean Strickland will will remind everybody that nobody really gives a rip Molina, 11-2 so far in his career and 3-0 in the UFC, has previously shown support for the LGBTQ plus community wearing the Pride Month shorts for his fight in June 2022. Molina, who's currently suspended for his alleged role in a betting scheme, said he was not planning to come out during his career, adding that he wanted to be known for his skills rather than the by UFC fighter, and that I'm sure would just be translated to gay UFC fighter. Well, you know. Jeff Molina goes off about negative comments he received for wearing Pride Month shorts. And, of course, if you don't agree with his lifestyle, you're a yeah, piece you know, of uh, S. Who would have thunk it that, like, in 2022, people are still, like, not... Who the fuck cares, bro? Like, honestly, it's not even about being an ally. I'm not saying I'm not, but it's like... Just be a decent fucking person. Like, just be a decent human being. And, <clears throat> like, judging someone and, and, and trying to justify it with religion and, and saying all sorts of, like, just spiteful, hateful shit is, is crazy to me. So you're pissing on religion? 
Gotcha. That's not a great way to go about things, but okay. It's mind-boggling. It's like, who cares what who someone wants to be with or like their sexual preference, like, and then trying to justify the, the irony of trying to justify it by religion of something that's supposed to be so accepting and you're gonna get me going on a tangent, man. I just I was honestly shocked. I, like, uh, I, I for, so I picked the colors because I thought it looked cool, and then also it supports a good cause, you know. Um, but I, I'll support anything of a community that's been uh, oppressed and and ostracized for. Okay, so he wants you to know that he hates Christians and uh, he's woke as hell. That's about as much of that shit as I can stomach. Melina's announcement makes him the first openly LGBTQ plus male member of the UFC. Quote, at the end of the day, I know my character, morals, and who I am as a person. As much as I'm getting hated and shit on, I'm getting equal amount of support, and it means a F ton. All right. Enter in Sean Strickland as he rips the piece of shit cheater, Jeff Molina, after coming out as, well, bye. Sean Strickland, this is MMA News, picked a hostile way to react to Jeff Molina coming out as the UFC's first open LGBTQ male fighter, Molina, who is indefinitely suspended by the Nevada State Athletic Commission due to his connection to the UFC's gambling probe, released a statement on Friday revealing that he is bisexual. This came after a leaked video of Molina allegedly performing an act That went viral earlier this week. Many fighters, pundits, and fans praise Molina for addressing the recent video and being open about his sexual identity. While he isn't the first fighter to verify to identify with the LGBTQ community, he's the first male UFC fighter to do so. But Strickland, who is never afraid to make his opinions public, took a different route in response. In a recent tweet, Strickland addressed the potential change in the narrative surrounding Jeff Molina by some in the MMA world. And this is priceless. Jeff Molina suspended indefinitely for rigging fights and ruining MMA. Everyone, quote, he's a POS. Jeff Molina, I may have sucked a... (laughs) Everyone, quote, you're so brave. (laughs) What the actual CNN is going on here? Hashtag fake news. Bro, we don't care that you F dudes. It's 2023. We care that you're a piece of shit cheater. (laughs) Oh, man. Awesome. Some Twitter followers were critical of Strickland's stance, with some pointing out that the investigation into Molina and his recent statements are two different topics. Molina shared a supportive post after representing Pride Month on his fight kit last June. He expressed frustration with some who criticized him for wearing the rainbow-themed gear. Man, as for Strickland, he continues to be unafraid to express himself, no matter how controversial some of his posts may be. Both Strickland and Molina openly expressed their views on Friday, with Molina also making UFC history in the process. Oh, my God. I guess this outlet is brave, stunning, and courageous as well. I think it's hilarious because he's right. Dude, You leaked a, a video leaked out. You felt like you had to come out. I mean, you felt like you had to? Okay. I mean... Dude, I don't give a rip what you do. Now, I do I do give a rip that you decided that you wanted to be extremely critical of religion, and because of that, well, piss on you. Um, I, I, I've just had enough of these shitting on Christians, you know, and I'm no Christians that are going, you just said shit, man. I, I get it, but come on, the devaluing of religion is really, really ticking me off. Um I appreciate the fact that Sean Strickland just pointed out the obvious. Wait a minute now. You're flipping the narrative over a guy's sexual preference? Are you kidding me? This dude is a bona fide scumbag. But all of a sudden, nah, nothing to see here. Please move along. Everything's okay because the guy's got a different sexual preference. Stop it. Stop trying to rewrite the story. Okay? Wow. 
Good job, Sean Strickland. I mean, we've done videos on him in the past, and he straight doesn't give an F. He does not. He will open a can on anybody, anywhere. He doesn't give a rat's ass. And yeah, cheating in sports, that's just the worst. It is the worst. Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.